welcome back friends in today's video we are going to be getting it all done i have lots of projects and decorating that i want to do before the holidays gets here this was some things that i wanted to check off of our little list of things to do before the holidays approach but also my baby boy casein is turning one and we are having a birthday party at his house so it's the perfect timing to get all of this wrapped up and done and completed and transform our home and get it ready for the holidays. Stay tuned for lots of projects and decorating. The first thing that we're gonna do today is paint the fireplace. Before you freak out, I did a poll over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, go follow me over there and watch my stories because I pretty much communicate over there first what my thoughts are. And then we bring the thoughts to life over on YouTube. I just ask a lot of questions and input over on Instagram. Whenever I did the poll on, should I paint the fireplace in all white or keep it this wood tone. Um, a lot of people was like, no, we love the wood. But then whenever I shared my inspiration pictures, so many of you changed your mind. And here's my thoughts on it. Our built-ins are pretty small already and everything just looks like jam packed here on this one wall. I just feel like for two reasons, I want to paint this white because I feel like it will just help everything probably look more big and grand because this is a bigger wall, but it just looks like it's all packed on here um, because of the smaller bookshelves. And I feel like the wood tone fireplace mantle just kind of breaks everything up. So if I painted it white to match all of this, I just feel like it's gonna flow better. And I'll put some pictures, inspiration pictures up so you can see why I'm thinking this. Drew and I have been talking about it for a little while, whether it should be wood or white, and I'm just gonna paint it white because it's just paint. If we don't love it, there's another paint out there that I can repaint back on and get this exact same look. Before we start painting, I wanted to share with y'all another coffee table that we got. This one, I absolutely loved it. Oh my gosh, I loved the marble, but Kaysen is starting to walk around and pull up and we are just scared that he is going to knock his teeth out And so I found this one online and I will link it and it is so beautiful Actually, my sister came in the other day and she was like out of all the coffee tables that you've had This one is my favorite and I agree. It is so just sweet. I love it So we're gonna put it together real quick Like it's going to be perfect because it's oval and it has the scallop detail and y'all know that i'm loving scallop right now and there's no sharp corners and it's wood so it's not a very hard surface so as you can see the coffee table is about the same color as the couches and i loved this coffee table whenever i saw it it is going to be perfect for in here for Kaysen because he is definitely pulling up and walking around on things and it's not as hard as the mar marble, even though I loved the marble, but I could just see him busting a tooth on that thing. So this is oval shaped, no corners. It has the scallop detail, which I love. So I think it's gonna be perfect to grow up with him while he's in his baby stages. But I knew whenever I got this coffee table that it, I wasn't gonna like the color of it, but I'm not afraid to buy something new and make it my style. And so, since it matches the couches a lot and it's kind of got a little bit more of a shabby chic look to it because of the color that it is, I thought about staining it and I wanted to stain it basically the same color as the mantle. But we had the wood floors, the tone of this rug, and then the mantle, and it just was gonna be a lot of the same. So I thought that we would clear everything off and use the stain that I have to, it's like a gel stain and make this table basically the color of the mantle. So we're just gonna do some swapping around. And the thing is, you can change things around, you can repaint things, so no problem. But for right now, I think that having the white fireplace and the brown coffee table will look stunning. The only other thing that I'm worried about is the rug, if it's going to be like the brown on brown. But we'll figure that out later because I was already kind of thinking about putting this rug in the foyer. I thought that could be pretty. Um, but again, we'll just see. But first, we're just going to paint the mantle first and then go from there. So we're just going to take things one step at a time and see how things need to go and how they need to be painted and swapped out. Lost and hopeless When I was 
rounds up my worst It's grace that you extended That I did not deserve I am so amazed by all you have done I cannot explain the depth of your love Limits can't contain the heart of you God, I'm amazed at the depth of your love Your mercy came and found Second birth I'm overwhelmed and grateful You took what I deserved so glad that I did that. I love how it turned out. I will share with y'all more of what it looks like at the end, but we're going to come into the dining room and change up this little space. So we're going to add these pictures to another wall, and then we're going to put these little sconces that they're actually supposed to be hardwired, but I just cut the wiring off and put some battery powered light bulbs in them. So we're going to put those on either side of the window, and then we're going to add these little pictures to this wall stacked. I think that they're going to be so pretty here and a nice little change up. And a lot of y'all have been wanting to see it this way. So I thought, why not? We'll just try switching some things out and seeing how we like them. moving this rug into the foyer to see how we like it and that little bar cart the wicker one that y'all saw in the dining room is actually one of my friends we are borrowing it for Casey's birthday party but isn't it so cute and it fits perfect on that wall but here is the foyer and the rug that we put in here and I really do like it in here so we're gonna keep it this way and I'm gonna try to look for another rug for our living room now we're going to work on this gallery wall up the stairs that we have been talking about doing for such a long time and this was actually filmed back months ago whenever I started working on this and I gave up on it but I am ready to get this worked on. It won't be completed but it's a huge start and I cannot wait to share with y'all my ideas. So here's what I have so far. I have a collection of new frames, thrifted frames, and some frames from my grandparents. And we have this little hole left right here. So we're gonna go out and look for a few more frames to add to this. But right now I am just taking little sticky notes and just going to stick the picture ideas that I have that I wanna go in which picture frame so I can kind of get an idea of any more pictures that I need to think of to go in these. Um, and then to kind of visualize which pictures are going to be in which frame as I'm going out purchasing more frames to add it to this gallery wall. So my birthday this year, my parents actually gifted me this beautiful watercolor painting of our home. And this lady off of Etsy, who my mom found, how, look how perfect this is. This is absolutely breathtaking. I was like, there's no way that she painted this. This is so perfect. So I'm going to link her down below. Um, in case you're interested in this, this makes such a sweet gift for somebody um, who has a new home for like Christmas, their birthdays, such a sweet and special gift. And then my mom left me a sweet little note. So I'm actually going to put this in the back of the frame to always keep, but I'm so excited to have this to a add to our gallery wall. I really wanted to personalize our gallery wall. And even though it's not 
completed. It's a huge jar and I want to just keep adding very personalized touches to this to make this little space feel like home. The next thing that we're going to do to personalize this gallery wall is I got my local friend to draw us our birth flowers so there is a lily of the valley for drew a rose for me and a poppy for Kaysen. so this is all of our birth flowers and she hand um sketched these and they're just so pretty so thank you amy barnett for doing this for us so we're going to add this to our gallery wall and then the next thing that i'm going to do i purchased this antique print off of Etsy and I will link her down below too because she had a few more. I have looked for years, y'all, years for an August print. I cannot find an August one anywhere. I can find every other month, but August is mine and Drew's anniversary month. And these are beautiful botanical prints and these are all the flowers that bloom in August. And you can see by the flowers is a little small number. And so you can find the number of the flower and look down below and um, find out which flower that it is and I just think that this is such a beautiful piece of art and I wanted to add it to our gallery wall to represent mine and Drew's wedding month. I'm also going to be placing this print into one of my grandma's frames so I got a picture frame from each one of our grandparents homes um, just to have a little piece of their home into ours. This one is actually my mama's. So we're going to put baby Kaysen's newborn picture in it. And then I do have one from Drew's nanny and Nana. Last year for Mother's Day, Drew snapped this beautiful picture of our view from the back of our home, the family farm. And so I went ahead and blew this up and wanted to add it to our collection because we love 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 this piece of land and so blessed to be able to live here i'll share with y'all the finished look for now of the gallery wall in a moment but let's move on into the living room so i went out and about shopping for some last minute birthday things for Kaysen's party and i wanted to get a new rug for our living room since we moved that one into the foyer and the first day that i went i found this one i thought it was so pretty but it ended up being too small for the space it um was actually um i found it at home goods and i couldn't remember what size that i needed um but i got home and just tried it out and miss althea and addison loved it when they came over and saw it but i was like it's really too small like this is not going to work in this space and that's going to drive me crazy but we put it down just to see what it would look like and i loved the colors of it but the next day we had to go um grab even a few more pieces and i had to take some stuff back so that morning i ran back into home goods into a another home goods and I found another rug that I had been eyeing and it was actually on clearance and so I was so excited to get it home and put it in here and I'm really wanting to try to make this work, rug work for the fall time and Christmas. I just love the pretty sweet colors in it. Now we're going to move outside while I'm working on all of this. Drew's actually staining our shelves for our pantry because they just looked unfinished. If you what missed it we did a full pantry makeover and then we decided we needed to paint or stain the shelves and so he's using actually this stain that we used for our front doors and it is a gel stain so he's going to work it into the wood so he's outside working on this and then sanding and refinishing another piece so we are just all about teamwork here and we got so many things done and the house is just so cozy and we're definitely getting ready to approach that new cozy fall and holiday season. on this like little antique drawer like little filing drawer cabinet thing i've had it for a few years now and i really love it and we like putting some of our coffees and teas in it but you can see it was like a cherry red kind of stain and then also it was very like distressed looking and um splotchy and it just didn't look its best so he's stripping all of that down and going to restain it and 
oh my goodness, what a difference that it makes. He was so proud of himself for this. So this actually took a little bit more elbow grease than he thought and I thought, but it just looks so much better now. And I've been wanting to do this for years. And so I finally was like, let's get this checked off the list of things to do. And it definitely made the pantry room look so pretty and complete. the shelves are done we are going to start adding our decor back into our pantry and restyling the shelves you will notice if you look real hard a few touches of some new purchases that i am so excited to share with y'all if you follow me on instagram or tiktok you already saw because i did like a little unboxing and went into more details but i'm hoping to share those on my channel real soon i just ran out of time between trying to get all these projects done and do casey's birthday party and then we're going to be going to the beach to celebrate his birthday i just ran out of time on sharing these and these are very special pieces so i wanted to definitely um take the time and be able to share them with y'all so i'll be doing that in a video um really soon so stay tuned for that one Project and a little glimpse of Kason's birthday because I forgot to share the fireplace before we put the banner up. But stay tuned because we're going to be sharing Kason's birthday party and decorations. But here is a little glimpse of the rest of the little projects that we completed. I added this little rug in here and I love how our pantry turned out. It definitely looks more finished now with these stained shelves. So thank you, Drew, so, so, so much for all your hard work and making all of my decor dreams come true. Here is the final look of the gallery wall and I'm going to go into more details about this. Again, I do want to add more personalized pieces, but for now I just added one of Kason's first birthday pictures into this frame that was Drew's and Nannies. Here is a look again of our backyard view. This is one of Kason's newborn pictures. And then this is one of our wedding pictures. This is in Drew's Nanny's picture frame. A picture of our first beach trip as a family. Again, one of Kason's newborn pictures. And then we have this little botanical picture that represents our August anniversary our little family picture at home. I do want to get um, Amy. She is supposed to be either doing watercolor or sketch of Maddie girls. So our little Shizu Maddie, she's going to do that little artwork so we can add it to our gallery wall. That picture of Drew and I was actually a picture taken a long time ago, exactly where our house is built. Um, and then that picture of Kaysen, that little uh, silhouette picture of Kaysen, we got that for Christmas and it is so sweet. So that is all right now for the gallery wall. We are going to be working on the very last project, which is wrapping up Kason's scrapbook. I do have a few more pages to do, but then his little scrapbook will be complete and we will be so ready to move into the holidays after his birthday party. And I am just so excited to have all of these done. So thank you all so much for being with me today on this video. We got so much done. I'm so excited um, to be a celebrating Kaysen's first birthday and then moving on into the holidays. So much fun to come on our channel. If you haven't yet, I would love for y'all to hit that subscribe button and come back and just be with us for the most coziest time of the year. I love you guys so, so much. Let me know what you think of our home and which project was your favorite. And I will see you guys in the very next one. God bless and I'll see you soon. Give me all your love. Give me